Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Driving Life channel. My name is Dean. I'm going to uh, talk to you about my winter rig today. Uh, we already went over the Challenger in a previous video, kind of. I'd like to go over it more in depth, but the weather is crap outside right now. So I'm in my garage today. Uh, finally, there's no threat of snow, or there is very little threat of snow where I'm at. My Challenger does not do well in the snow. I know. You know, you'll look on YouTube and you'll see a bunch of people that drive their challengers in the snow. Um, I'm not that guy. That that car does not do well. Um, I'd rather just leave it in the garage. So well, I bought this 4Runner before uh, I got the challenger. I had a WRX and this was going to be my summer car because the top came off. It was kind of ugly. I could go hike and camp, park it alongside the road, not worry about too many people messing with it. And if they did, I really wasn't out very much money. My WRX was customized and eye-catching. I think if I set it on the side of the road, people would be all over it. Uh, same with my Challenger. However, with the Challenger not working in the snow, this became um, my daily driver in the winter. Anytime there's possible snow. So anyway, um, it does have a quarter million miles on it. Uh, it the engine is tired. It's ready to be to be gone through. So I've got a bunch of plans for it. First off is the long block. Um, I want to replace the main components of the engine, probably uh, the injectors, uh, coil, you know, all of the all of the stuff that can be affected by wear and tear. The heater stopped working on me in the winter, and when I when I went to check the coolant, I found that there was oil in the coolant. Uh, funny enough, there's no coolant in the oil. But it does tend to uh, shoot a lot of uh, carbon substance out of the tailpipe. So I think I think I've probably got something in there blown, and I really don't care to fix it. I'm just going to replace that part of it. So anyway, let's take a look at the truck, and I'll go over what I'm planning on doing this summer. So here we go. Here is the front of the Forerunner. I got this nice little area here that I kind of built up for myself. Um, it's not bad for a for an apartment complex. I mean, I have a two car garage. They're, they're a tandem style, so I could just back the Forerunner up a little bit and I have a ton of space here. So, yeah. Um, so here it is. We have 22RE fuel injection. Uh, it's, it's dirty. It's got oil all over it. Um, it's got a little bit of a redneckery in the wiring. Um, I fixed some of that when I first bought it because the stereo, the stereo was set to. Um, we had to turn a switch on and off regardless if the uh, key was on or off, and it was just a mess. And then at some point, the it wouldn't start for me. It wouldn't even turn over. And I got to investigating and found that it had. Uh, two alarm systems in there uh, which were somehow tripped uh, nine months after me buying it um, and when the, the, the starter disable was activated so it wouldn't turn over anyway uh, it had the it had a grill guard on it at one point but they had taken the guard and left the mounts so I took those off uh, Overall though, I mean, for a couple of thousand dollars, it's a 1986, um, it runs and drives. I really want a better experience um, driving in the winter because I go from my Challenger to something from 1986 and it's uh, less comfortable. Anyway, some rust spots on the body. The body is overall uh, fairly decent for a 30 year old. Um, SUV that was owned by, I think I'm the third owner of it, um, but I know at least one high school kid owned it, and possibly two through high school. Uh, I, like I said, there are some rust spots. I'm going to change out, plan on changing out the bumper, the front bumper. Um, I'm going to rattle can it. I'm not going to get too crazy with this thing. Uh, I still want it to kind of. Um, not draw too much attention when I park it alongside the road. Uh, windshield had a 
a lot of leaking around it so I went to Safe Light and got that done and they did a great job on that. Um, no leaking so far. These mirrors are awful. I don't know what they came from but they sit at an awkward angle um, and you can't see anything out of them. Uh, inside it's not terrible. It's got an alright um, interior. Uh, the head or the uh, visors are bubbled and puffy, but the headliner is good. Uh, the doors and the dash, that's all good. No major cracks. I did add that console because it had a broken console in it with no cup holders and I have to have my coffee in the morning. Um, I'm going to customize that a little bit and make it seem like more part of the interior. Um, the top comes off. I don't know how yet. I haven't taken it off. I haven't had any leaks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the seats, I'm going to try and get some out of like a Camry or something. Uh, something with a, a heater in it um, and a little more comfortable because I mean they're not terrible but they're not they're not comfortable. Uh, the windshield or the window on the driver's side um, is hard to roll down and the door lock on the passenger side doesn't work properly. Oh, also with the rear window roll down, I've just got the, uh, this, I don't know if you can see that, I've got the switches kind of just laying there. Um, in customizing the center console, I'll be putting uh, mounting switches in there for those. So that'll be all right. Um, I'm also probably going to put some USB ports, stuff like that. Uh, a little bit of rust on the fenders. I'll probably cut these up about here. Um, one of the things I don't like about the Toyotas, and they've all done this, uh, is the rear fender is actually cut lower than the front fender. And to me, it makes it look like the back end is sagging really bad. Um, I don't like that. A little bit of rust there on the top of the tailgate. Uh, also, the key back here does not work uh, to roll the window up and down. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to address. Uh, this, this bumper is going to go in the garbage. I plan on doing a 2 inch lift and probably 33's. Uh, we'll get there when I get there. The interior I'm going to gut most of, uh, take out all the carpeting, uh, use like bed liner on it. It came with this awesome sound system that you can tell was uh, expertly put in. Uh, probably the same people that put in the alarm systems, but uh, I'll redo that and then rework that. Overall, it's been a pretty good truck. I can't complain. Um, underneath we have, you know, the normal wear and tear. I'll, I'll get into that and uh, get it cleaned up. Passenger side is kind of hard to get to, but it's about the same. Uh, not as much rust, a couple more dents. So uh, I guess it's a give and take. We'll see. I told you it was crap outside. Challenger is sitting out in the parking lot. Um, yeah. Typical Washington weather. So I told you that I got a uh, long block for it. Uh, there's the box. We're going to do an unboxing today. Um, pardon the mess. This garage is also storage for me. Um, I haven't moved some of the stuff back to storage yet. Uh, but I picked up this engine from S&J Engines in Spokane, Washington. Great people to work with. Um, there's their phone number. Uh, I called them and they, uh, you know, they asked me what my application was. They said, you know, here's your options and they built it for me in a week and uh, some stuff they, I guess they have ready already, but this one they built for me. Um, 
great people to work with. It cost me, I want to say, twenty one hundred, um, including the core charge. That I'll get like three fifty back when I take the core in. So overall, the engine will cost about seventeen hundred for a long block. Um, not bad. Uh, it's got a rebuilt block, uh, new head, and an RV cam. So it'll have hopefully a little more performance than this one. Uh, I have. Uh, I bought an engine crane from Harbor Freight, um, or a shop crane, folding, not a little bad deal, 160 bucks I think for that thing. I have my little, my little setup here to, to do stuff, my shop laptop over there. Um, I really can't complain, so we're, gonna, we're going to uh, unbox this thing and see what it looks like. have to take from the other engine uh, most obvious parts are uh, the valve cover the intake manifold all of the fuel injection parts um, water pump uh, your belt pulleys all of that crank pulley um, oil pan um, but overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, the head is nice. I got it already timed up with the timing chain. I'm really interested to see how this thing performs with the uh, RV cam in it. It's got a blue on the block that's different I figured it'd be black or something but so yeah uh, my plan is to uh, pull the engine out and pretty much just kind of prop it up next to this maybe slide this out a little prop it up next and uh, just kind of transfer stuff over um, so hopefully that'll work for the most part until I have to lift it up and I'll just lift this off uh, transfer the oil pan and anything else I'm, that I need to and then place that engine on here and use this crate to take it back to them for the core well I got phase one done uh, I didn't subject you to my fumbling with everything, trying to get this thing out of there. Um, but I got the whole thing out. Uh, the only things that really gave me trouble were there was a hidden bolt uh, behind the slave cylinder on the transmission I didn't see, so that one took me a little while to figure out. Um, also, uh, the power steering pump hoses did not want to come off. Um, I had to force them a little bit, and it probably going to have to replace the hoses. Other than that, it came out fairly fairly quick. Um, I mean, probably a few hours of uh, actual work. So, anyway, now I'm going to drain the pan and start cleaning parts and moving them over. So. I'll let you know when, uh, when I'm in next stage. So that's going to be it for the video today. I just wanted to go over the Toyota real quick, show you what my plans were, do an unboxing of the long block. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember, subscribe if you want to see more. Like or don't like the video, whatever you choose.